everyone, I am back and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Velour lashes that every YouTube guru talks about. So I was wondering, I'm like, are these really worth like 35 bucks? Because the ones that I got were 35. Um, these are the Lash and the CD. 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 These were $35. This is the Lash in the City, like I said. Um, $35 is a lot. I would have never thought in my life that I would spend $35 on a pair of eyelashes. Like, why? Why would I ever think of doing that? The main reason why these lashes are a bit more expensive is because they're not like your regular lashes. These are actually mink lashes. And honestly, I didn't know what mink was. I was like, mink? Like, what does that mean? What mink lashes? I mean, some of you out there must be like, oh, wow, you're dumb. But some of us really don't know what mink is and I searched it up and they're actually like little animals and believe me no animals are harmed what they do is pretty much brush their hair and whatever falls off they use for the lashes so you're pretty much wearing animal hair on your eyeballs so these took about a few days to um, arrive I ordered them I think like on Friday and then I received them like on a Monday or Tuesday it was very very fast okay so it comes in a box like this it came with also this thing right over it like this like like this but I mean this is just annoying and you have to be taking it out and putting it back in so I don't even use that the box itself like it's magnetic I mean I know I can't use these lashes no more and I'm gonna have to toss them but I mean other lashes that I'm gonna be buying I could totally store them in here I don't see myself throwing this box away just because it's so perfect so cute and it's just it's just amazing it's so sturdy but this is how my eyelashes look I will insert a picture of how they looked in the beginning because I did uh, post a picture on Instagram when I first got them and they were just so full these were a little bit too long for my eyes so what you're gonna probably have to do if you do purchase these you're gonna have to cut the corners off it never cut the inner corners because that's just gonna completely ruin the shape of your uh, eyelashes so I cut mine and I just left them in there so the main thing that I have to say about these lashes is wow you're not gonna try out any lashes that are this soft I wear lashes a lot and I've tried many different brands and these lashes are just extremely soft I've never touched anything that soft in my life these are not like your typical lashes. This is way better than human hair. When I first got it, since the eyelashes were super full, I thought the strip was going to be super thick and uncomfortable because I have tried very thick lashes and the strip itself is just super thick and it's so uncomfortable for the eyes. And the thing I noticed about these lashes, that didn't happen. It was just so comfortable in the eye and I couldn't believe it because... The lashes were so thick. I know the, the the actual band, it's made out of something. And I forgot, I don't know if it's cotton or something like that. Uh, my eyes always tend to water when I put eyelashes on. And I know I'm applying them correctly. They're not poking me. They just tend to water. I don't know what is it about my eyes. They just don't like eyelashes. Every time I applied these on, I was so shocked because in the beginning when I had them on the first day, I was like, what? It was just so weird because it's always a problem with me. I always make sure I carry like extra eyelash glue and eyeliner because my eyeliner starts to rub off and, you know, my eyes just start watering because I have eyelashes on. And when I had these on, it didn't happen. I was like, maybe today is just not a day that my eyes want to water. So the next day passed by and then the other days passed by and my eyes never watered with these lashes. I don't know what's so special about these lashes, but my eyes did not water. So that was, that was one thing that immediately impressed me. And I was like, I need to repurchase these. Like, I'm, I'm already done with these lashes, but I'm going to repurchase more just because, I mean... It's just crazy how comfortable they are. These eyelashes, I love them a lot, but there are some things that really disappointed me for these. These lashes, you could wear them up to 25 times according to the website. I'm just gonna tell you right off the bat, I was not able to wear them 25 times. I think I've worn them maybe 10 to 12 times. Even if I wanted to wear these more, I wouldn't be able to, and I'll tell you guys why. The first thing I noticed, and this, is happen this happened like the first week that I had them, and I'm going to zoom in to you guys so you guys can really see what I'm talking about. So obviously I really tried taking care of these lashes because they're worth $35. So obviously I wouldn't put mascara on them, you know, things like that. I would just be very careful, especially when taking off the glue. I was mostly careful because I've seen reviews and they said that when it came to taking off the glue, you had to be very careful because sometimes the lashes, some of the lashes would fall off. And that didn't happen to me. This actually happened. So this is what happened to it. Like... I was taking the glue off so this string do you guys see that was coming off with it 
can you guys see that string and then now the eyelashes are coming off when I noticed this I honestly got so scared so what I did I just put eyelash glue and glued it back on there and there was no problem but now I can't do that this thing itself already stretched so as you can see this thing kind of stretches it kind of has a mind of its own if I really pull this um, more I'm pretty sure it's gonna eventually rip like it's just I don't even know what it's it's holding on to faith I think that um, string with right there was really just holding these lashes all together can you guys see this how stretchy it is I mean there's no way I could put this back to place now this is the other eyelash and this eyelash is still actually um, pretty good nothing's wrong with it um, the only thing that's keeping me uh, from using these is that reason um, for this other eyelash because there's just no way I could use it because it's just it's all sorts of bad this one I could still use but sadly I need to wear both of course so that completely ruined everything but this one is still in great shape it is um, a, a lot thinner than how I got them as you guys can see there's a um, some hair is missing but I don't really have a problem with that and the other day I was taking the glue off and I accidentally pulled like a whole piece of string off um, pretty much just like this one but this one I mean it only has a little piece dangling and for some reason it's completely ruined but this eyelash the whole thing falls off and it's still in good shape so it doesn't really make sense but the whole thing fell off it so I don't even know what it's hanging on to but it's still in good shape um I don't know I guess it comes with like plenty of little strips and just one of them fell off and luckily it wasn't one that was like holding on to the lashes so that was basically the lashes um, that's something that really disappointed me I can't even use them no more this eyelash um, had lifted its little string the very first week that I got them but it was not an issue I just glued it back on with eyelash glue uh, but eventually it just it couldn't I guess survive it's obviously something big um, it completely ruined everything because now I can't wear them up to the 25 times like it said I try to blame myself like no you were probably pulling on it too hard but you know what like no I'm sorry but I took care of those very well I'm gonna obviously repurchase more pairs like even though that happened that's not gonna stop me the way they looked on my eyes it, they were just so full but they look so natural and it's crazy how many people would ask me like what kind of lashes I was wearing I never really get asked like oh what kind of lashes are you wearing when I would wear these lashes I would really get that asked a lot now I know I did have some cons of these but in my opinion I do think it's worth the $35 because first of all the lashes are pretty much animal hair and aside of that they're just so comfortable they're so soft and then aside of the lashes itself the box that they come in is so sturdy I mean I do think it's worth the $35 the only reason why I had got these uh, pair of lashes was because I was going to Vegas it was just kind of for a special occasion I think it's great you know if you're gonna be getting married if you know you're gonna do something special it's your birthday you know just a special occasion I think um, it's a great reason to spend $35 on a pair of lashes if you're a makeup lover like I am and you just really want to buy lashes for no apparent reason then I mean go for it it's your money do whatever you want with it I'm gonna repurchase a lash in the city and then I'm gonna also get the dummy up or something like that those actually look really cute and then the other ones don't look that flattering to me I mean they're all nice but they don't really like catch my attention so I just cannot stand the fact of how soft and comfortable they were on my eyes and how beautiful they looked on so I really hope you guys enjoyed this review I hope I answered all your guys' questions of these lashes if you guys do have any questions go ahead and ask me um, in the comments down below and I'll gladly answer them for you I really hope you guys enjoyed this review for the velour lashes that every YouTube guru talks about and that we all want to know if they're really worth the $35 so that was my review. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys later with another video. Bye.